Yes. And the reason is they're, they're bumping into each other constantly, either online or in social media or actually global economics. Any of these things uh, that we're looking at today in these, these big economic conferences and so forth, it's a, it's a collision of worlds and therefore a collision of worldviews. To be, to be able to talk to someone from a different culture and a different frame of reference, it, it's important to know what their frame of reference is. And I think that sometimes we fail to do that, and it causes hurt feelings. And I mean, just one little Twitter sentence can really do it to a person who feels offended. These are questions that belong to the metaphysics and to um, a, an ontology or a study of being, the nature of reality. And I'm afraid that not enough people take these things seriously. I wish more people were taking philosophy of religion and people were asking these hard questions about the different religious faiths. Uh, I'm afraid what they're doing is they're getting most of their data from social media. And many people do not read. Um, and when it comes to things like the church, uh, I would even go so far as to say that um, biblical illiteracy is rampant in the church. There was a time when I could use a parable, I could refer to a parable like the prodigal son, and every woman know what that meant, which contributed to all sorts of questions like this in theology. But today, you hear crickets from the pulpit when you say things like that because people are not reading. And so, Yes, I think they're extremely important, and I also believe that people are not considering them as they should.